Hi, welcome. My name is Flossy. I've been living in a van for three and a half years and I'm currently building a step van. Welcome to this week's episode. I hope you enjoy our adventures. The, the, van, the mouse has been a stowaway for almost a week. Wow. Yum. It's a nice. Wow. This, this won't take very long. Yeah, so there was a, uh, an island. It's a beautiful poplar cottonwood salve. Morning, everybody. I just woke up. <sighs> Fire's on. Got some water ready to boil. I slept so much better last night than I have in the last few nights. Oh, what a relief. Partially because I just got back from traveling and it's back in my own bed. You know, when, you, when you're not in your own bed, it makes a difference. No matter what size of vehicle or camper or RV you live in, there's something special about being in your own bed. Hi everybody, managed to borrow a palm sander. I've just cut this so that it fits inside the sinkhole and I'm gonna try and give it a sand. I'm so excited. This is a super exciting part of the build. Over here behind me, the draw fronts are going on. I have these two pieces, which are actually for my bed, which I'm gonna use to space this so that there's a gap at the bottom. down here I have to probably tweak the straw because it's close here and wider up here so eee, I'm so happy I have covered doors <laughs> oh this is gonna look so pretty with my countertops thrilled. I just think it looks amazing. Wow. 
to show you the beautiful things that I got while I was in Cluelet. These are my door and drawer handles. They're so beautiful. And this will be for my bed for lashing the rope to. Yay! Fun things! I'm putting aesthetic design into my van finally! Yay! <laughs> I mean, this whole thing is an aesthetic, but feels exciting to me making this job. Yay! just looks gorgeous. Okay, two more to go. And about to drill another hole. So I wanted to show you my fridge, my toilet cupboard. So it has door handles to match the kitchen sink and the same theme as those. And when we open it up, going to contain the toilet. It's beautiful. And up here we have some beautiful maple trees and the maple blossoms just started to all pop and I was looking at how beautiful everything looked in the sunshine this time of the evening I want to pick some maple blossoms Hi everybody, Whew, it's quite warm in here. I am hungry, I've been working really hard all day on the computer, I need to get outside soon but I need to feed myself. And yesterday I picked heaps of these maple blossoms and they are a beautiful color and super tasty. So if you eat them by themselves they taste like a salad green. And so I'm gonna put them in some maple blossom pancakes. And eat some of those. I'm going to use gluten-free flour because me and wheat are not friends and I'm going to make it up, make up my recipe. So you can do the same thing and you just judge the consistency by what a pancake consistency should be and put on your spices and flavor as you wish. I like to put some eggs. These eggs are still a bit dirty because I was looking after some chickens and when you get them straight from the coop they still have bit of fluff and stuff on them. So I'm gonna put, let's use these up, let's put two eggs in, make them nice and fluffy. Bit of baking powder, gluten free flour, They're basically battered now, and a really thick batter. I could add a touch more liquid. To make it slightly runnier, but. Get that ready to go. 
My oil is nice and hot. It's starting to smoke. I'm gonna put the pancake in and we'll turn it out. Let's turn the pan down low. I may have poured a tiny bit too much oil, but kind of shallow frying. That. It looks amazing. Just letting the other side cook. And then what I love to put on is I have this garlic spread, which is basically just garlic. It's a vegan garlic and canola oil, salt and citric acid. So I'm gonna put that on. It's slathered in garlic. Yum! It's like a savory egg pancake. You don't have to use egg, you could use a flax egg too. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so hot. Hi everybody. So I have recently been sanding all of my walls, the bamboo ones that we've had so much problems with over winter. And this it's a verithane, a varnish, a semi-gloss varnish. It's so exciting. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna do it. Mm, it's too big. Second wall, let's do it. And it looks really nice. And now I'm gonna do the cedar tongue and groove after this. This oak stuff here on the wall is already pre-finished, but all the cedar's tongue and groove is not, so that's next. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Look at the colors come out in that. And it's cedar, so it's beautiful. The back of that dinette seat, the back of that dinette seat. Now I need to do the front of that, the front of that, the front of this couch seat, and then this wall. Then I'm gonna paint that wall, and maybe that wall, white. And if I'm really lucky, paint the underside of that white too. Currently the countertops are off because we're gonna oil them decided not to varnish the countertops but to oil them because if I damage them I can just unscrew or sand the patch and re-oil it, oil it. So long term maintenance is excellent. <sighs> and while they're off I thought I'd do some painting because I'm terrible at not splashing paint everywhere so better do it when they're not in here. Yeah. Take you long, did it? Comfiest spot in the van. The comfiest spot in the van. You've one wet paw, I reckon you've been fishing. If you've been fishing for froggies, I won't be very happy. Oh, what a more gorgeous view. Weird. The van's this way around. Look. You just see the big one. This is the little mystery van tucked up there. Can we take a moment to appreciate how pretty this looks? I really hope it stays this color.
Yay! Oh, that looks so much nicer! And this, where is it? This piece of wood, this pre-finished birch ply is the cupboard door faces for their overhead cabinets. It's beautiful and it's gonna match these doors. Yay, it's gonna look so beautiful. Wow! No, but it, the, the color is just, it's deeper and richer and beautiful and Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you so much for your help. Oh, you're On another note, it's bloody snowing. Go home, April, you're drunk. It's spring. Did you not get the memo? Morning, everybody. I'm just about to get started with some work. And I'm putting the fire on and I thought I'd show you what I'm up to. You all seem to really enjoy the tiny cooking stuff that I've been doing. And I love eating chips and dip and just little tasting things. Have you all tried baba ganoush? No, yes, maybe? Well, I had three egg eggplants and I'm going away to Tofino, so I was like, I can't leave these eggplants just sitting here. I need to do something with them. And if I don't, and when I come back in a few days' time, they're gonna be all full. So last night, I roasted the first one, and this morning, I just put on the next two eggplants. So it's really important with eggplant that you salt it quite heavily and oil it liberally. So I'm going to roast these two. I'm just about to light the fire. Got everything kind of going to some burns of trash, burns of paper, and then I've healthily smothered it in salt and oil. I just added a whole bunch of garlic. Okay, so it's raining, but I just couldn't miss an opportunity. Just like pop out for a quick moment. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wow, it's so pretty. Maple blossom sitting around for a day or two drying out because I picked it in the rain. I'm making an egg omelette. And I've put some curry, not curry, chili oil seasoning and some spices in it. I just wanted to show you some more food things. So we have dinner, which is maple blossoms, fried egg, and red pepper. I am making some baba ganoush. So here is my tiny little pot, and I roasted garlic and cut up all the eggplant. Here's my teeny wee blender up here. And so I'm just blending all of this. I'm gonna put it in here and maybe add some more olive oil, mix it through and some salt. Ooh, the other it's thing I did. It's gonna be so delicious! And I picked another giant basket full of fresh nettle because I have a whole nother jar of the nuts and this one's got a bit of pine nuts in it. So I'm gonna make some more. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Make the hay while the sun shines, they say, or make pesto while there's fresh nettle and it's sunny out. Because making it in the rain is much less fun, as we all know. <laughs> I've had a mouse. What? It was in the van for two days and then I went away. So it's in there, been the, the, van, the mouse has been a stowaway for almost a week. Oh. Now during this time, I removed all of my food from the van, all of my food that was in big job, making sure that it couldn't eat through any of the plastic. And then last night I re removed all of my clothing from the van because I also I plan to go to the laundromat, hopefully today, maybe tomorrow. Really need to do some clothing. 
clothes washing. I don't like to wish ill on sentient beings. They're just living their life trying to survive. But a mouse, it crosses a line once it's in my house. But if you're a mouse and you live inside my house, we have to talk. You're not paying rent. You're eating my food. It's just not okay. I've had mice in my van maybe half a dozen times now. Generally, they leave within one to two days. I use a cedar spray uh, and they will just, they cedar and rodents, not a good mix. They don't like it and they leave. I'm out of cedar spray. And like I said, it's been a many days. So the mouse had to go. Today, today's problem, today's fun thing that we have to do, or shall I say tonight, is catch a f mouse. Yeah, so there was a, a, an island. The islands that I've been swimming around, there's a bald eagle sitting on top of the rock. And so I pulled out the binoculars and then I shoved the GoPro into one of the eye holes of the binoculars and I could kind of, kind of, the binoculars are not very good. You can kind of see it and it was so cool. I'm trying to figure out what's burning. So there's another piece underneath this. Mm -hmm. That's what's burning. It's really pretty. We should be sitting right here because now it's warm. Oh, it smells beautiful. I don't know if I'm smelling this cut piece of log though. It's a decent amount in this jar and every single piece of it was picked from on the ground. None of it was picked from off a live tree. It's all windfall. It smells amazing. The whole lot is from the ground. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's, I wish you could smell a vision. It's so delicious. You can make some salve from cottonwood. And it smells amazing. This is just all blow down. None of it's picked. It's all come down in the last wind.
here and it shows you how to zoom in. Yes. So I just poured oil all over my cottonwood buds. Oh, it's going to stain them and make them smell delicious. Here is a jar from last year. And the oil is not even runny anymore and then I have to squeeze it all out and put wax in it and to make it into a salve. And I also wanted to show you I made some bread this week. Mm, it looks pretty nice. Oven bread. It's a gluten-free loaf so it's a bit dense but it turned out really well. Some beautiful poplar cottonwood salve. The oil is going to bring out all the beautiful scenting, scented sap from inside these buds. A little while ago I mentioned to you how I was making a year of tea jar. This is all dried nettle and I just realized that I have a whole lot of rose buds. Oh and they're so beautiful from last year that I picked. They smell gorgeous like beautiful roses so beautiful hmm. I don't think I want all of them in there but I might just add a few oh it's gorgeous look how beautiful and delicate they are they're so cute yay nettle and rose tea I'm gonna put some mint in there at some point mmm yum hi everybody Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this week's episode. There were so much fun things in this. Some exciting and beautiful progress in the step van and some beautiful food. Wild, foraging and eating wild food is one of my favorite things uh, from the Cottonwood Salve, which is a beautiful healing ointment to nettle and maple blossoms. I can't wait to take you through the seasons for the rest of the year and what we grow and find and harvest and all the adventures that are just about to happen. I've hinted at this episode about some coming upcoming videos. So there's a trip to Euclulet and Tofino coming up and some uh, more local chores with laundromat and lots more van build. Oh, the exciting stuff is just about to begin. So yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for joining me on my journey. I really appreciate it. I love you all very much. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know about the upcoming episodes. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.